activated partial thromboplastin time, or APTT, with a reference range of 25 to 39 seconds, is a lab that's used to monitor clotting times. Essentially what we're trying to measure is we're measuring how long it takes to form a firm fibrin clot. And the normal reference range for this is 25 to 39 seconds. We'll see a prolonged activated partial thromboplastin time when the patient has a deficiency of 30 to 40 percent of one of the factors that we're testing. And remember, we have a lot of clotting factors, okay? There's, there's multiple clotting factors, and the APTT is used to kind of measure multiple of these factors. And we can compare our APTT to our PT to determine, you know, maybe more what's going on. So what factor might be missing, what factor might be affected in this patient. So, for example, a normal APTT with a prolonged PT will only occur in deficiencies of factor 7. And on the opposite end of it, a prolonged APTT with a normal PT will only occur in deficiencies of factor 12, 11, 9, 8, and then uh, von Wildebrand factor. So not only is it helpful, not only is APTT helpful in, in identifying prolonged clotting times, but it's also helpful in identifying exactly what factors might be the cause of this prolonged time. So some of the reasons a physician is going to order this is it can be ordered to detect congenital clotting uh, issues, okay, so like hemophilia. It can also be used to monitor response to heparin therapy or coumadin therapy. It can be helpful prior to surgical procedures to determine if a patient is at risk for bleeding during an operation. And then we can also use it to monitor for abnormal bleeding. Uh, you know, if, if a patient is bleeding a lot, if they're having uh, gingival hyperplasia or if they're um, hematorrhea or something like that, we can actually run this test to determine, okay, what's going on? What are, what are we missing here? And what do we need to give this patient? So it's, it's pretty self-explanatory here, but some of the reasons that we would have a prolonged APTT or activated partial thromboplastin time, right? A time greater than 39 seconds. Obviously, like we already said, issues of factor deficiency, polycythemia, liver disease, vitamin K deficiency, von Wildebrand's disease. If we have a patient who has a an APTT of greater than 70, that, that's when it starts to become critical. Okay, that would be our critical lab value where we really want to monitor very closely for signs of bleeding, make sure there's no internal bleeding going on or, or anything going on that would really be of detriment to this patient. If we have a patient who's receiving heparin therapy, we'd want to let the physician know if, if our APTT starts to get below 50. In any patient where you're monitoring bleeding times, you want to really watch for any signs of bleeding, petechiae, epistaxis, or, or any signs that might show that the patient is bleeding, okay? And this can get really tricky in patients who are a little bit older, right, where we're trying to, uh, where they're receiving blood thinners and things like that, and they maybe have an issue occur. They fall and, and, and break their hip, and they need surgery. Well, we have to kind of wait until our, we can slow those bleeding times before we can do any types of surgeries on them. So remember, this is APTT, or Activated Partial Thromboplastin Time, what we're really monitoring here is we're monitoring how long it takes to form a firm fibrin clot, and our normal reference range is 25 to 39 seconds.